So on Pentecost, the, the apostles are gathered together and they're hiding in the upper room. The same upper room that they just, what, 50 days ago, 52 days ago, celebrated the, the Last Supper with Jesus. They, they had Pentecost in this same upper room. And now they're gathered here again with the doors locked. And the scriptures say, for fear of the Jews. Right? They just watched Jesus be crucified and died. And it was 50 days ago. And the, the Christian persecutions have begun. And the apostles are terrified that the Jews, the Romans, they're going to be killed. They're going to be killed because they are the apostles of Christ. They're known by everybody. They're the 12 that have walked with Jesus for three years. And so now they're hiding in the upper room because they're terrified that they're going to be executed in much the same way that their Lord was executed. And it's there that the Lord appears to them. And he says, peace be with you. In the middle of their fear, Jesus offers them peace. Now notice he does not end Christian persecution. Right? The threat of the apostles being executed maintains throughout. But Jesus then breathes on them, peace be with you. And he ex exhales on them the breath of God, the great Ruha. And he breathes on them, he says, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them. Receive the Holy Spirit. And it's with their reception of the Holy Spirit that they now are given the strength, the courage. They're given the, the strength of God to go out. In, and there's no longer the fear of being killed. There's an the acknowledgement that they most likely will, and 11 of them are. But there's no longer the fear that holds them back. So as we embark on this celebration of Pentecost together, let us be open to receiving the Holy Spirit that fills us that we may go out into the world with the same zeal as the apostles at the first Pentecost. That we, knowing that we have to give up certain things to be faithful followers of Christ, or that there might be people who reject us or make fun of us or perhaps even kill us for following Jesus, be filled with the Holy Spirit to go out and to proclaim the good news, not counting the cost. Because the cost of discipleship is always my life. Whether that's in the blood of martyrdom or the white martyrdoms of self-denial. But to be filled with the Holy Spirit is to trust God enough that he offers me something greater than what I could possibly lose living life on earth. Be filled with the Holy Spirit to go out and to proclaim the good news.